I don't like that either. I guess the blue is the best. What's up guys, my name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. In today's video, we're going to be looking at two, I didn't like that. In today's video, we're going to be looking at two very amazing, can't even see what they are. We're gonna be looking at two amazing products from Meguiar's. All right, guys, now what are these products? They're nothing new. They have been out for a long time. The Meguiar's Detail Align Protein Stain Remover and their Fiber Rinse and Tannin Stain Remover. Now, what are these products? What are they capable of doing? Why do we need them? So I've been doing some research into carpet and upholstery cleaning, and I am by no means an expert on this at all. This is basically what I have researched and what I have found online and from other detailers and other carpet cleaning professionals. When it comes to cleaning carpets and upholstery in vehicles, it can be a challenge. Why do I say a challenge? We see guys all the time just using super clean or a regular APC and it looks amazing. True, I would say about 80% of the time, a regular APC like super clean or power citrus cleaner plus from Meguiar's or any other cleaner of your choice is going to get the job done. In fact, we still use, in fact, we use all those cleaners. However, the beauty of these cleaners is they are very specialized. So there's a lot of directions on here and it might be kind of confusing to you. Here's how we used it and it worked very, very well. Now I'm gonna show you how we cleaned up this newer Ford truck with upholstery that could have been a nightmare. Now with the truck, the upholstery was not that bad. But again, when you're dealing with this type of fabric, you don't want to oversaturate it. Oversaturating it can actually draw up the stain even more. So let's use the fabric rinse and tannin stain remover first. All we need to do is mist it onto the fabric, agitate it with a brush, and then we mop it up and dry it with microfiber towels. This is the least aggressive method that we use, and it works extremely well. Now we did pull the seat out because the customer had unbolted it. And in this case, it is nice to have the seat out to be able to clean the sides of these chairs. And again, misting the stain and agitating it with a brush and then wiping away and drying with the microfiber towels. Make sure to use multiple microfiber towels to dry. You want the fabric to dry as quickly as possible. That's the problem with using an extractor or oversaturating the seats. If they don't dry quick enough, wicking will occur. That's when the top of the fabric dries and the underneath portion is still wet. So it will continue to draw up the stains and moisture to the top, pulling that stain to the surface. So if you're not oversaturating the seat, you're not gonna have to deal with wicking. And since the seat was removed, we did shampoo underneath it because the coffee had spilled under here also. Now with carpets, you don't have to worry too much about oversaturating. The carpets are thinner and there's no foam underneath to get oversaturated. Wicking can still occur, but carpets dry much faster. So now we're going to be dealing with these seats, which are extremely bad. Again, this upholstery could have been a nightmare if we started to oversaturate it and tried to extract it. So we misted the fabric rinse and tannin stain remover over the entire seat, agitated it, and also used a little bit of steam. Steaming does help because it heats up the fabric and the fibers helping to release the stains. And again, drying is very important. Make sure to use plenty of microfibers and dry the surface of the seat completely. You can even put a fan or use your air compressor to blow dry these seats. If any of the stains start to reappear a little bit, simply spray some more fabric rinse and tannin stain remover, agitate and repeat the process.
So again, drying the fabric is very important. Because the seat was sitting out in the sun, it dried 100%, none of the stains came back. guys that was pretty impressive when we started to use these cleaners we were blown away and i wish i had picked them up earlier these are going to be now our secret weapon against those types of stains in that type of upholstery now if we were to just hit that with an apc maybe it could have cleaned it up however the tannin stain remover and the fabric rinse this is really what did the trick it dissolved those tannin stains completely without oversaturating the seat. Now, some are gonna say, you need to pull all that stuff out of the seat with an extractor. Not necessarily true. Be very careful about what you see other detailers doing. Just using an extractor for the sake of using an extractor is not the best practice. Sure, people love to see all that dirt and grime being pulled out of the seat. However, it's not always needed. You don't want to oversaturate upholstery because you can run into a whole other world of problems. I know that because I've done it. I've tried to do what I've seen other detailers doing, saturating the seat with cleaner, pull it up with the extractor it looks good at first and then about 10 minutes later you will see those stains start to reappear now true you could use the tannin stain remover or the fabric rinse in your extractor it's actually designed to do that or spray this onto the top surface and then use the extractor because it's neutralizing the chemical but it's not always about neutralizing the chemical sometimes the drink spill goes so deep into the foam the more you saturate the more it's going to wick up. So it's hard to tell if it's the chemical oxidizing or the drink spill actually starting to wick back up to the surface. So this could be a very tricky situation. So here's my advice. This is what we have found to work very, very well, especially in the mobile detailing scene because you need to work fast and you don't have all day. Using products like this are going to quicken up your process. I do consider this like a magic potion now. When we sprayed it on, agitated, and used a little bit of steam, and then wiped it dry with the microfiber towels, it instantly went away. And then we kept an eye on it. As it dried, we saw that sometimes that little staining would return just a little bit. So we hit it again with a couple of more applications, again, agitated it, and then used the microfiber to mop it up, and we tried to dry the material as quickly as possible. And as you saw, after about a half hour to 45 minutes of dry time, it was completely dry and the stain was gone. So for us, these two products are a win. They're gonna stay in our detailing arsenal forever. Guys, if you've used these products and you've enjoyed them, let me know down below. That way it helps others. What are some of the pros and cons? Did you have any cons with these products? So guys, if you wanna pick up the Meguiar's products, especially the fabric rinse and protein stain remover, head over to Car Supplies Warehouse and pick these items up for yourself. When you start to use this stuff, you'll see why I love it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it with others who may enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week and you don't miss stuff. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Have a safe week. Take care. Does it have a scent? Does it have a flavor? No, I'm not gonna do that.